back car and car interviews um, back with another special guest one of our close friends introduce him in a second I'm your host Brian Bafford this is my other host Leah Marcelino How you doing? Um, Christian if you want to step in what's up guys what's going on man howdy so today we got your 96 LS 400 yes sir That's my understanding yes sir so, You've had you've had a couple special select sort of vehicles over the time that I've known you. I mean, I've known I you for I think I'm on number four. Number four. Yeah. 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 But in March, uh, I started ordering parts immediately after I sold the Mark IV, and finally finished it about three weeks ago, yeah. Memorial, whatever Memorial Day weekend was, yeah. and um, yeah, here it is. I got it wrapped. Uh, Two weeks before the rest of the parts came in, so had the coils sitting there the second week I bought the car. The wheels, um, camber arms, traction arms, and tow arms. And the only thing I was waiting for is the front upper control arms that took 10 weeks to get here and hand built from a serial nine up in Canada. That was all because of COVID. Front no, it's because it's the only company that makes front uppers. Oh, okay. well, I mean, Probably mixed with COVID, yeah, with everybody back trying to. Order. Yeah. Back order exactly. Order. Yep. And fully hand built and I've just been pressing on them like when are they gonna get here when are they gonna get here like I have everything of the parts I have one show coming up they're like yeah they're getting there they're getting there and then they finally just showed up on my door what is this color because I know it's close to the factory green that you have it is yeah the factory green is actually on the inner part of the mirror okay I've left that for like a contrast but yeah. it's uh I think it's a pearl dark pearl uh green Start by program. Avery, Avery Wraps, okay. yeah. Okay. And um, the wheels yeah. were all like machine face with the lips. I taped off the lips and sanded each face down and did them with actually a duplicolor wheel coat in okay. rose gold. Yeah. So, and then you had the lugs. Hand painted. Who makes those lugs? Six, six speed lugs, yep. Just a little fl flare. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And then, so the headlights and the marker lights. Those are all aftermarket, right? No, the headlights. The headlights are factory. Headlights are factory. Uh, these come in amber, um, fully stock from the factory, and then I got these cleared. Mason actually got them for her father's birthday. Okay. So shout out to uh, Stan Stat Seven. Yeah. Okay. So then, primarily, suspension is, is what you kind of thrown at this yeah, car. Yeah, suspension. A, a good uh, just put an alternator and battery in it. Oh, yeah. That, that yeah. took a crap on me the other day. And. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I threw the, uh, the gold mirror tint on with the oh, sun strip. Yeah. yeah. Um, fully handmade banners. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I that's mean, the body thing. was clean except for the sun, faded the hood, the roof, and the trunk. Okay. Thrashed the body. Yeah. I can send you guys like pics of that to you know compare through yeah. the end. Yeah. <laughs> and who makes who makes most of the suspension parts? It's Megan Coils, right? Megan Coils Megan with coils. Uh, 34K 5-inch Swifts. That's right. Uh, serial 9 front upper control arms. Megan Racing rear camber arms. And uh, traction arms. Um, we left the toe arms because they were completely... No, the toe arms are Megan as well, but we took off the uh, traction arms because mm -hmm. they, were, they were a pain in the butt. Yeah. Anybody else has an LS probably knows. Yeah. <laughs> And um, yeah, just no camera arms up front or anything, just the serial nine front uppers. They max out at eight, so I left them maxed out. So eight degrees in the front and then 14 degrees in the rear. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And this is your daily. This is my daily, yeah. yeah. It's the only car I own right oh now. My God. <laughs> yeah. So, just to dive in, um, you know, we've talked about your car, so let's talk about a little bit about you. Uh, we know that you are the Maryland chapter leader of clean culture. Yes, which is, uh, if yeah. viewers don't know, go on Instagram and just look up any car post and it's probably by <laughs> one of the big clubs like clean culture. Um, it's an honor, honestly. Uh, I took over about a year and a half, almost two years ago, became actual Phenomenal. leader. And then this, this year was kind of a bust for shows and everything. So we're just seeing what the, uh, the team has. What's on to prepare? Who we can 
recruit in the off season to see what they really got. Yeah. <laughs> see what you got, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thing looks good, man. I mean, Thank you. Yeah, buying uh, it completely stock completely and seeing stock, it stock. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very satisfying. Yeah. Especially since I drove it for four and a half months completely bone stock. Yeah. And then now over like one course of a weekend between yeah. Friday night and Saturday starting all day. It was 16 hours of labor to get it from bone stock to this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, de so and you definitely did like, yeah, you definitely did like the color scheme right too with the, you know, like yeah. a lighter shade of green than stock green and then yeah. like gold. I'm, I'm just happy how good the wheels came out, honestly, with <laughs> yeah. everything. What's the wheels? Doing it by hand. Um, they are 19 by nine and a half with a 15 offset up front and then 19 by 11 with a 15 offset in the rear. Yeah. Uh, 15 mil spacer <clears throat> in the front, and I have barely a finger to get through up here, which LSs are a pain in the butt to roll tight, because I still have a lip up here. I mean, yeah. I, you've seen the other cars I've had have always been completely flush. Yeah. I've always been static, not bag. Yeah. And coming from that, I mean, you were primarily driving like German cars always I mean, at least yeah, yeah, yeah. since i've known you and then yep. even before the, GT, then. the mark six i've had for four years and the jet i had for literally about a year yeah and i just i just wanted something different you yeah. know these are actually getting more played out as since i bought them yeah. i've seen so many more of these and yeah. I, I just locally yeah. i've been wanting and then it looks different. you don't see around a lot oh, yeah. what was the two cars you had before the gti oh man the gti was really my first real build i had i started with my first car I ever bought myself from a dealership was a Mark VI Golf. Mm -hmm. So it was the same car as a GTI, except yeah. it was kind of lame. Threw <laughs> coils and wheels on, didn't know anything about fitment or anything, so it was kind of some weak spec stuff. Yeah. And then I traded that for a Mazda Speed 3 Gen 2, which is fun. It was full bolt on, making 321 to the wheel. Nice. And uh, I got in trouble with that a lot. I got two, tic <laughs> two tickets within a month, so. Had the part ways on that. Plus, I had a 15.6 interest rate on there, so I was like, ah, yeah, I'm beating myself up. <laughs> and I traded that for the biggest mistake of a car I bought, uh, an 08 BMW 328 Xi, so an E90. Okay. Yeah. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lemon. Don't buy a BMW from a Volkswagen dealership. Yeah. Buy a Volkswagen from a Volkswagen dealership. <laughs> Be careful, and look what you've had to replace already. <laughs> um, Mentioned that you have always been static. Yeah. I know that you, once you bought these wheels, put them on the car, you, not, you didn't necessarily regret it, but you thought it would, been, it would have been better to buy 18 inch instead of 9 inch. Yeah, I wanted to, um, oh man, lower. You gotta get an underneath shot of the car. Hey, you, oh, hey, you, you said it, not me. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I wish I went 18s, but I'm happy with how it sits with oh, 19s. Yeah. Um, I feel like just the bigger body style, the 19s fit just that much I, I agree, yeah. yeah. It was easier to tuck, yeah. tuck uh -huh. the 19s, especially, I just get more of like a self-satisfying thing, like, oh, hey, like, I drive a static car, yeah. like, you know, like, when we go to Cars and Coffee, all the old people just blows their mind, oh, yeah. like, does this go up and down? Oh, like, yeah. no, and I drive it every day. <laughs> no, so. it just shows that you have <laughs> huge testicles right yeah, in those pants right there. I like there. to see that, I like to think that. Especially on these roads out here. Oh yeah, God, we don't so live in a grid today. spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see gravel. Yeah, straight marks coming through here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're in an industrial. Like, there's, this is just not paved at all. No, but, it's you know. Maryland roads, PA roads. Yeah, just not my friend. I haven't even took it on 795. You haven't? No. Ooh. No, 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 no. no. Hug that right to. lane. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> I mean, driving to York on Sunday was. Yeah. Probably an adventure. Fingers crossed the whole time. Yeah. You know? I mean, I think I, I ran over what I thought was an acorn last week, and then my check engine light came on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I read it. It's uh, something failing with the catalytic system. So, I'm thinking that, it, or whatever it was I ran over, just came up and slapped my O2 sensor. Could have, yeah. It's historic, so I don't need emissions or yeah. inspection. Yeah, that is true. That's why. Yeah. I wanted to get something older. Oh, yeah. You know, the GTI is one of the newest cars I've had. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that was a 2010, right? That was a 10, yeah. That was the first year they made the Mark VI. That's right. And I was like, you know, I'm done with inspection. I'm done with emissions. Yeah. I want to just do something crazy to an older car yeah. that yeah. I don't have a payment on. Yeah. It's, that's very That you don't there. see a lot either. That you don't see yeah. a lot of, exactly. Yeah. I never... You, do, you know. Yeah, I yeah, really... I mean, <laughs> not yeah. this exactly. 
even when we went to meets and shows and stuff, I really never saw these cars until you bought this and we met the two guys at yeah, that's right. two meets in a row. Like, I was blown away. Blown I was like, that, yeah. yeah. And like I said, it's becoming slowly a more popular car. It's, it's, it's always what you see. It's like, mm -hmm. once you finish your car, you just see so many of the same car yep. pop up. And yeah. it's like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even then, like this being a 96, it's getting harder to find. Actually, yeah. I mean, I got the car for two grand. Yeah. Sold the Jetta for four and pretty much dumped all of that into this. Because yeah. mm -hmm. since you don't see many of this car, not a lot of companies make parts for it. Exactly. So it was, it was pretty difficult to get parts for now. <laughs> <laughs> so now, guys, we're in Christian's car. It's about to get really bumpy in here, so. <laughs> Bear with us. Yeah. Puddle. <laughs> um, so to get further into yourself, you know, I know that you're really proud of this build and how once the parts came in, how quickly you got it done and like everyone who sees it loves it, you know, like it's getting a lot of attention. We went to Tuner Evo uh, this past Sunday and, you know, every time I turned and looked at Christian's car, someone new was looking at it, talking about it. Um, so what would you say is your favorite build that you've had. I know that like the last two builds you had temporarily, you know, but the GTI you had for four years. Yeah, four Something years like I've had the GTI, almost. I know it was, I bought it in 16. Nah, oh man, it was a year already, wow. So yeah, a little over three years, I owned it. Um, didn't start really getting crazy with it until like a year and a half of owning it, like the winter of the second year of owning it. And, um, and that was out of nowhere. I just like, you know, and I've been reading all these forums and like, what can I do to like really go crazy? I'm tired of, I own a Mark 6 GTI. Like, you know, you feel the same way. Like, yeah. what can I do that like, it's gonna be unique. Exactly. That's how I felt about this too. That's why I bought this in the first place. But honestly, all in all, this is probably my favorite build for a car. Yeah, I was just because of, of the rarity of the most camber I've had on a car. The GTI, the Mark 6 was a, uh, six up front and 11 in the rear this is eight and 14 like i said in the uh the outside interview wow but um yeah this was is definitely my most unique and favorite one just because it is unique you know what i mean yeah and you've also done stuff to this car that you haven't done before with the gti or the jetta where yep. with the mirror tin or the broken hearts vinyl yeah that was a really cool <laughs> touch with like you i know, appreciate like, that some people it's it's honestly a hit or miss with people yeah they're like oh this is a cool addition or people like why why did you do that like why does it look I like it's, keep it plain and simple and i'm like yeah why, why plain and simple like i'm just trying to stand out you know you know my buddy eric right cameron's yeah. brother yeah look at his he when he had his silver mazda three hatch like he he went crazy with it like yeah, he stickers all over it, it. Yeah. he's like you just wanted to be unique and it's still broke necks so that's what i'm doing it's some people like to be to break necks in a clean and simple way i like to just go all out but yeah. at the same time kind of keep it like plain and simple yeah like you kept it plain and simple with like you know the color and your like the color scheme you have with the green and rose gold you're not doing like all out vinyl or two tone yeah. or like you know, two like colors a, that clash or, like oh, yeah. i hate that or like the you know personal like you know pearlescent sorry yeah um, like that people like to do but you also went all out with the camber and the, <laughs> the mirror tint and how fucking low it is um but i mean overall for how low you are like it, it rides pretty it good, right? Smooth. Yeah, like, <laughs> and like the seats, dude. You tell me how comfy these oh, seats are. Even yeah. when you rode in it, like the second day I bought the car, it's like, oh man, like it makes you not want to do anything just of how comfy it is. I can probably rub here if I wanted to. I mean, you mean you don't get middle. a lot of cars that people, you know, do builds on that have yeah. leather seats too. Like that's it's, true. Yeah. You know, we had Kedrin Broad. He has a 2020 Corolla. You actually, I'd met yeah, him yeah, for you. Yeah. Um, he was the first guy we had with leather seats. Uh, actually, that's false. Gage. But, ah, that's um, right, yeah. It's always the older cars, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. And then the 2020. <laughs> yes. But, Go figure. I mean, like, with that, though, it's like, 
I feel like leather was such a big thing with older 90s cars. And Definitely, now, especially because this is a lug this is the luxury model. Yeah, and for... exactly. And like the only reason why like, you know, kind of like Kedron 2020 is leather is because, you know, like that car you would not expect people to do work on. Like like slam. Exactly. Like, that's why you said there's not many oh, people yeah. that make parts for the car and that's that's how it is with this. I mean I mean, thinking back in 96 when they made this car, it's like, oh, man, 30, 24 years from now, people are going to make the wheel stick like this on this thing and drop it to the ground. And then it's, but still, there's not, like I said, Serial 9 is the only company that really makes front uppers. A lot of people are cutting their spindles and doing a lot of hack jobs just to get it to sit how they want. And I'm not about that. I'd rather not worry about, oh, no, is this weld going to snap on my cut and replace part of the strut or yeah. is my spindle gonna snap because <laughs> and it's like <laughs> plus like you know before you bought this car the only time I ever saw this on the road I mean you're the first person I've seen under 65 years old that's driven <laughs> this car so like you know obviously you're not 65 yeah not yet and <laughs> close <laughs> close um but you're also riding at like that VIP like comfortable setting exactly with the car. Yes. It's not only is it Stancy Boy, but you're also like, damn, like that guy runs shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which you that's, do. I mean, that's what like, I, I like to. I like that feeling. You know what I mean? Like it's it's respectable. It definitely and, goes well with your uh, your title of chapter leader, honestly, because you're the leader, and this is like a. That's how I. Like that's how I very, didn't feel when I had the Jetta. Honestly, yeah, I did not I feel like I was like, oh man, I have one of the most basic cars out there. Sorry, Mark IV Jetta owners, but <laughs> <laughs> or any Mark IV. It's just you don't. That's a really hard car to stand out in, and this is kind of easy. I mean, I wrapped it, made the wheels tilty, and lowered Redid it. Redid the wheels. I mean, like they were just, as you said, they were just um, silver at the time. Yep, they, they all all machine faced. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you did a perfect job with them. I remember, you know, coming over the first time and seeing them. And like, wow, like, <laughs> like half sanded down, and like, it's it's yeah. crazy how you can just transform. And they used, didn't they use your wheels on one of their ads? They did. Yep, they posted it and put it on an ad, which is cool. And then actually, speaking of a previous car I owned, on the Mark VI when we had our FedEx show, when I had the space gray wrap. Yeah. Some company used my car as their product picture for the hood bra. Yeah, you remember, I remember that? On Did eBay. you see that? I yeah, was on, on eBay. eBay and it's on Amazon it. now yep. too. And I'm like, oh, what? Gosh. I didn't get any credit or paid or anything, but you know, yeah, it's, but... it's still cool to see have people send it to me and be like, "This is your car." I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's definitely a good <laughs> feeling. Like, you know, my car is in the middle of the process, so I don't get a lot of like compliments or like oh like or they don't turn heads or get people looking at you've made quick progress on that thing man i remember before you even had it yeah I, like yeah. this is your first car like this is you went from an suv to this car and you got bags you got you did the side skirts you did the r bumper like look at all be proud of yourself man <laughs> yeah but like like with that is like i know that it's such a good feeling when you do get like you know those compliments because like then your all your credit and all the things that you've done is like a reflection of like so like such a good feeling yeah and, it definitely uh, is so i can't imagine seeing your car on amazon <laughs> <laughs> to, like you know promoting a hood bra i mean that's definitely awesome. yeah and i i could not thank my friends that have helped me enough with all my cars mason and dakota like they without them it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be this yeah and you gotta have you gotta have good friends man and good friends will save your life and have you a really nice car at the same time <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah exactly honestly that is the car community it's like you know you got your jack wagons at the time like people yeah. that but you all like the community is just such a like a I'm gonna look out for you and make sure, you know, I'm not doing this for you to pay me back or anything. I'm no, doing exactly. this to help to you. Help you like, we, it's the car community at the same time has been a competition recently, which I, I hate. I hate. I think, hey, we're all in the cars. 
we all got to come together yeah and just like be a team at the same time and i just hate how it feels like it's been a competition yeah it's like oh did my car goes harder than this one and it's, yeah exactly i i i'm not i'm not a fan of that and that's why i hesitated doing anything to this i was like all right i have a 96 with you know 160,000 miles on it and it's a comfortable car i mean it guzzles gas it's a four liter v8 yeah but it's a very comfy car that i can finally go wherever I want and not have to worry about oh no I'm gonna snap an axle or I'm gonna buckle my fender or yeah. crack an oil pan but I mean once you're into cars man like it's hard to get out yeah. <laughs> it's like a dying love yeah I mean like that's undying why, love sorry you know, I mean that's why we get like you know we'll be on Instagram and we'll see a, like a really cool car a really unique build on Explore yeah and you know you go to the page and it ends up being like a, a 36 year old guy yeah and it's like there's like really no age of where you can't like I've seen 16 year olds to 40 year olds man yeah. just like all build their own car in one way or another to their their taste yeah and I mean, it's still that, it's still the passion, love for is a passion yeah, exactly that passion you have for a car is just like it's no other feeling honestly it's like no, you look back on it even just doing like one thing to it and you're like wow like my car looks substantially better exactly than before. no doubt no like, doubt about I that I did that like me and my friends did that like you know like, it's just yeah, one I, of the best feelings think, think of a friend that you have that isn't has no interest in cars can you think of any <laughs> no I mean honestly like <laughs> even my friends that aren't like you know like super in the into car, cars they still yeah, have like, a respect and interest in it yeah like they ask me questions all the time I'm not too far in the car community yet but like it's I like even them being curious about it, it's like, that's a pretty cool thing. Definitely. I agree. Because cars are, I mean, everybody drives one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all about, oh, wow. That you don't see every day. Yeah, and then we also grew up with, like, Matchbox, car, matchbox yeah, and the, cars. Yeah, the Hot and Wheels and, 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 like, the video games. And, and the for Fast Speed. And Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's such a cliche thing to say, like, oh, Fast and Furious is how I got yeah, into cars. Yeah, like, really. It's true. It, yeah. It's true. <laughs> like, it's, I don't know. I think the love for Underglow is coming back. That's that's the next mod for the car. Really? I'm going to put Underglow. Third car I put Underglow on, but. What color are you thinking? I'm going to do a chasing Underglow. So it's going to have, you know how the Audi has the, the blinkers sequential yeah, yeah, yeah. like that? No. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Because before, you know, I bought, like, they were twenty dollar little led strips from yeah. amazon or ebay that you just hit with a remote which these are going to be the same but they're going to be like the quality kind like before they were like the feet uh the 3m like bendy sticky mm -hmm. these are going to be bars like, like the, the stuff the that people bars oh, these are going to be uh, yeah. like i said i've never spent as much time and money on parts for a car uh except I mean, for this yeah, one so i'm, I'm just i gotta do everything right with the waiting and you know like yeah having all this stuff but you wanted to do it all in one night because that's the way to do it and then you get all your parts together you like grind it out like that two way days. two yeah. days man yeah, like that's like, unbelievable not to be I, i'm in no way cocky I'm, I'm very humble and thankful for my friends that have helped me but two days on to go from bone stock to what it is now it's something to definitely be proud of i mean how how hard and tempting was it to you know when you had Every part except for what the camber arms for the front control arms, front control arms, everything was sitting at the house. How, how many times have that? you have you came over and just seen the pile of crap yeah. from the car? Like, oh, you still waiting on them arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's very tempting to just just throw everything on and yeah, go exactly. without it. You know, I mean, if H two O, I'm happy I didn't like rush it because Dakota was like. Man, just don't even wait for the camera arms or the front control arms to get here. Just run like no tilt for the rest of the season. Take it to H2O. I'm like, what's the fun? What's the fun, man? <laughs> if I'm gonna do it all, we're gonna do it all right and do it all at the same time. And even yeah, if I didn't have tilt, dude, I would step. have been screwed in H2O still. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like, if you had a car in general, if you, you had a car. Screwed. Yeah. Balls to you for taking yours down. Well, the only reason I I, <laughs> I put my PSI up to like a hundred on all both front and back. Yeah. Now, this man thought it was a good there. idea to get his resonator cut off three days before H2O. <laughs> <laughs> get it a straight pipe. Yeah, a full straight pipe and then take it down to Ocean City. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah I was in fifth gear and monster <laughs> trucking the whole way. Down. 
Can't say I blame you. <laughs> First car I haven't did an exhaust on yet. Yeah. That's because I'm sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spin. Let's throw all the money. That's rough. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, that'll rub out eventually. I'm like, uh, no, probably not. Just gotta get to that comfort spot. Yeah, exactly. Because it's only when accelerating, because you know, it squats when you accelerate. I mean, I wouldn't know because I, I had coils on and I never really lowered my car. I'm happy you went with the bags though. I think, yeah, <laughs> I think it was a good move. I mean, like, we've been through the process of it, you know, blowing you've had as, and everything. Yeah, but... you've had as many headaches as every other person <laughs> building a car. I mean, I remember when we were finishing the car, uh, yeah, I think you had to work that night, but um, we were trying to tweak it a little more to get a little more camber. And we were cranking it, cranking it, and then we went a little too far to where it came, the um, inside part, because it was a female going in, a little more, and it came apart Jesus. and ripped the first three threads apart. Oh, so the first three, first three threads were completely flat. Yeah. So me and uh, Dolph hauled ass to Lowe's to try to find a tap and die set, only to find out that they made no size anywhere near that, and it was a left-handed thread. So that's a special order. And I yeah. get a call halfway home. Mason says, I got it. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then that, crazy. that little thing would have thrown your whole... Thrown night. everything off. Yeah, but like, luckily, traction arms. Here's a cheat code for uh, LS owners. Uh, traction arms and camber arms are the same length and same bolt bushing setup. So if you have a pair of traction arms, you can use them as... Uh, camber arms in the rear nifty to know <laughs> I did not know <laughs> but oh we're good I feel like the ride wasn't too bad I didn't really oh, take it on two bumpy rides definitely not <laughs> well uh, we are coming to an end here thank you Christian for being no problem, on man. thank you for having oh, me yeah. buddy um, you know we've been wanting to get this man on the show for such a long time I'm, I'm a very close friend of his and he's a very close friend of mine we always you know have been talking about him getting on the show um but you know finally you're on it finally you, we get to you know hold show on. off your car hold on. and this is his driveway so he hears this, this is my street day. this is on a flat street <laughs> Well, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> like, subscribe. Um, follow Christian Dis Lexus on Instagram, and we'll catch you guys next week. Peace.